Hello everybody, welcome back. A lot of people have said, hey NL, you're getting a little too silly with it lately. Can you tone it down a little bit? Maybe become a ma more mature YouTuber and streamer? I'm just joking, nobody said that. Well, maybe they did in the comments, but I wouldn't know. Um, how about a, like a, a, a bearded biker? It's alliteration and when you see motorcycle riders in media, they have a tendency, they do, to be bearded. I'm not saying that that necessarily carries over to real life because I don't, well, I know one guy with a motorcycle, but he's my uncle. You know, I'm not sure if it really, if it counts. I'm going to roll instead of buy to guarantee as, as best as we can that we're going to win this round because these laddies, I forget their name, missing no, bunny yip, there we go. I was going to say they're unstoppable, but apparently, at least we didn't lose. Like, this basically, this preserved the heart. I can live with it. Now, this week, do we have pills? No. Camel is good, though. Camel's, a, I mean, I know I said that it's a little unfair. Like, it's so good that it's unfair last time. Um, but that was before I got two wins or whatever <laughs> with that... Frost Wolf Chupacabra build, so yeah, we're mixing it up a little bit now. So sue me. Huge. Huge. And they're like, it's more missing than yours. I could teach you, but I'll have to charge. And that, sorry, like this. This is a classic combo, no doubt about it. And that's why we love it, folks. It is. I do also, I like a pug, man. Both IRL and uh, in-game. Now, sometimes people look at me like I'm a monster for saying I like pugs. They're like, pugs shouldn't exist. Bro, that little, that cute little dude that you see in front of you, you're saying his subspecies should be wiped off the planet? Well, maybe, but I also don't like own a dog. And if I did own a dog, I wouldn't buy it from like, you know, a breeder that's perpetuating negativity throughout the world. I would simply adopt a pug and give it the greatest life that it could ever ask for. I don't think anytime. What, what is this self righteousness? People see a corgi, they're like, "Yeah, your corgi's really cute, but did you know that they shouldn't exist on planet Earth?" Well, I'm sorry, I wasn't around in 1603 when they started doing artificial selection on canines. My mistake, okay. My mis What's next? You know, I'm the. Uh, actually, that's true. I was gonna say I'm driving my car, and people are like, "Nice car, but it shouldn't exist." But no, that's actually true. And maybe based. I don't know. I think it's based, but people do have to get somewhere. <laughs> they got places to go. <laughs> Listen, it's complicated, okay? It's not really what I got into this business for, is controversial takes. I think you're gone. You're certainly here. And then next round. Wow! We have the ultimate scumbag team. Artificially steroid enhanced camel feeding an artificially steroid enhanced kangaroo. Like that's just, if you'll pardon my French, that's just kind of disgusting. Now we are going up against an insanely great team. So kudos to you, Le Petit Prince. I believe that book is by Stephanie Meyer, if I remember correctly. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. We don't necessarily need you anymore. In which case, we could possibly get away with this. Hmm. I actually think... that you make more sense. I understand I could have you behind the kangaroo as well, but it's a little tricky. 2-5, but at least it's 2-5 with a coconut. Okay, that is a big bunny yip. I can already tell I'm going to regret... Oh, my coconut. <laughs> I'm going to regret having dumped you. You're so freaking lucky you shot my coconut, bro. Otherwise, that, this would have been over for you. If you're so smart, let's see you take a crack at it. I don't know if this is the play, my liege. Can't really run Doberman Ogopogo, huh? Take some of this. I, I just, I, I think we haven't gotten our camel scaled fast enough, but I guess it is scaling artificially off of the, the Ogopogos, who are getting mad crispy with it. Nasty. 
Dude, the, the Frost Wolf is like eating me alive, huh? I mean, we're, we're getting straight zooted here, but in like a bad way, not in the suited way. We have to divest. And the divestiture will come thusly. Buff the you-know-what out of your tree because it's going to get a coconut. This will mean that the camel can take out softer targets, thus giving your kangaroo a chance to actually do something. Bro, honestly, a coconut and a melon, like how much protection do you need? It's, it's a little... To me, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make you all pay, okay? It's gonna be turtles and trees as far as you can see. It's gonna be like Arbor Day for Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo. I promise you this. You need this. For us to have a chance, you need this. And you know what? You're gone. And I think you're gone, because we're going, we're going, oh, you can't take snake and tiger. We're going, we're going snake behind you. I would say we don't necessarily need the Ogopogo, but, but it, in the current situation we're in, give it a chance, man. Give it a chance. Please, please tell me this pops and I ruin everybody else's life. What a shot. She keep, keep shooting. No, it's over. <laughs> it was a disaster, man. We go again. Maybe don't don't besmirch the mermel, man. You got to give some respect to mermel in this house. Actually, bunny yip though actually seems to be the strongest unit as a tier one, in my opinion. It'd be like an untouched feat. I don't have anything else to say about it. I don't think there is anything else to say about it. All right, halfway to our personal best from this video already. Things you love to see. Honestly, I think this team's strong enough. You guys are three twos. Let's keep rolling. I want to win this one. I, to thine own self be true. And what is mine? thine own self? No. I know that it's easier to win in the early game than it is in the late game. For me, for me personally. Start out with a full head of steam and just have the game end before you peter out. Should be like this first. A camel kind of goes crazy. Obviously camel goes crazy. I'm sorry to have to do it, okay? We'll, we'll take our fish level up next turn. And you guys, we rolled one time. That's not, we rolled two times. Maybe it's not that bad. I know we made we took the camel last time and it seemed like we had the like a horrible performance, but just relax, okay? I'll handle it. I told you, I told you I'd handle it. Cam camel kangaroo, I've made that mistake. I've been seduced by that narrative many times. I can't be mad at you. Not really a big fan of these units. Now the bunny yips, the bunny yips are getting close to completely um outdated they are past their best before date add your hands to my hand garden what does that mean you got me freaking out salad fingers you know what it's this right here and it's um i think we're straight chilling you're gonna be a six you're going to be six, eight, me lying on my resume to get a spot in the NBA. <laughs> no, that probably, I don't think that would work. Mm, okay. Turtles and eggs again. We've seen it once. We've seen it a thousand times. And yet, it's crazy because I haven't changed. The world has changed. But look at the difference in my results. Strange to see, right? I think it's time to get rid of you. I just like the idea of a tree, man. Ogopogo, snooze it. Resist the siren song of the Ogopogo. We're skipping Chupacabra this time. We're skipping Pegasus. I, I think, I, I feel like I know what I want and we did not see it there. <laughs> but our bunny yip is gonna go crazy because of my prodigious amounts of re-rolling. 
They got their own tree. I understand it. I understand. I'm, I'm very upset, by the way, just in the way that this went down. Um, we won, so I can't be that mad, but you overwrote my freaking coconut, bro. That's the whole reason I got this laddie on the squad, is for the coconut. I snooze it. I, I know it's like better to buy something than nothing, but like, if, if they want me to buy something, it's very simple. They could, at any point, just offer me something good instead of dookie matter. I, I recognize, I, I actually hate to see it. I hate to see that I've rolled nine times. <laughs> it does, trust me, you might think it makes me feel good. You might be like, NL, you're at the max for uh, the bunny yip. You, you misunderstand me, my friend. That is not why I am rolling so much. I'm rolling so much because I don't know what to do. So this is a, a justified loss for sure. Trying to make a trumpet build work in this one. I mean, they, they didn't need the trumpets to beat me, but I think it's the first real attempt at a trumpet build I've seen. You have to quantify what it is you're looking for if you're if you're gunning for something, okay? Well, you know, I'm glad we, we only did five rerolls that time. We bought some avocados that are going to let us pop off next round. I hope. I hope. Okay, I mean, you got to... I was gonna say you got a good thing going here, but I think that's like a, a source required. Yeah, this one, this one's also bad. But this is where, it, this is kind of do or die time for us. A level is nice. Then this as well. I was hoping we'd get some duplicate units. And we did not. Um, plus every three attack this has. What if we tried to make a Warthog build pop? We have enough health to maybe try a Yeti. I know I always get seduced by the Yeti. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a believer that it, it, it seems too potentially good and fun to not take a <laughs> I don't really want a level three camel, but I it, it will not be denied. Thank you. That, that seems like exactly who I wanted the stats to go to. Hang on, we're so back. I don't know if the bunny yip is the way to go, but it's it's where we're at right now. So let's go, yes, yes, yes. I don't want them. I roll again and we, we go again. Come on, Yeti. Oh, thank you so much for the two extra sea lions. We really want to see more boars, but I guess that won't happen for a bit. Obviously, we got to... What the heck? What have you done? Oh my god, we drew. Freeze me, squeeze me. Great name. I love it. This is what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we want to see. You just got to roll one time. Forget about the bunny yip badge. There, there might be a better... A better time for it at some point in the future. Thank you so much. It, it got us the what we were looking and it's, it's even if we don't roll any times it is at least synergizing with the bunny yip because we're getting the three free rolls out of the yeti. The power level seems low enough this week that the yeti can actually like do something. Oh my gosh. The strongest rhino I've ever seen. I'm not saying it's guaranteed we're gonna get to 10. I'm just saying I feel like I'm, I'm in the fight for the first time in a while. Oh no, the Yeti! That's what I wanna see. I do wanna keep the bunny yip for now. Just like I gotta, I, I, I gotta, I gotta have something to stabilize us, you know? So we're gonna get level two Yeti next turn. This would be like an insanely good turn to not die on. Hold, hold. I think there's a serious chance here. And then this dude rolls like six times. That's crazy. It is so tempting to like dump you and then just get like a super Cerberus out here. So I like a super snake. Try it with Cerberus just because We've never really had a chance to use it because it just came out. 
Okay, we, we're only getting two rolls, like two, two successful hits on the roll slot machine. That seems bad to me, but that's, uh, that's life. Okay, I see what you got cooking up here. You're gonna be getting a lot of health. On the other hand, I got this pretty sweet camel back here. You ever see this guy? Yeah, 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 maybe you've heard of him. He's the most annoying animal in the game, perhaps, next to the rhinoceros when I don't have it. We're on nine wins. Would you be so kind as to, um, I don't even know what I'm asking for. <laughs> Give me a badge, but I've definitely won with all these units. It would actually be great to lose this one, but then win the next one with the Yeti, but I don't want to say it because there's like Shadenfoid there. I lived. Hold, hold. Guys, I think we're, we're too strong. My team is too good. That was a genuine, like, level three Yeti possibility. But you know what? I, I'm still happy with it. I mean, like, I felt like we easily could have just lost over and over again on six wins. But instead, we found a way to, to bail ourselves out. I'm a simple man. Round one, I don't care if we win or lose. Round two, I may care. Let me be an unwashed part. Like, if we win this one, we won't emphasize rolling next one. If we lose this one, which is mathematically impossible, then we could have gotten back to 5 HP probably by just focusing on rolling. But luckily, we don't have to do that. I just do not care about the pigeon at all. I don't even care if we win this one, to be honest. Oh, I do like that, though. This seems like a beautiful opportunity to not have to worry about any unit other than the bunny yip for the time being. He's a 3-4. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. He's basically all alone. All alone. All alone in his time of need. You know what I'm saying? I can't not. And you can be mad about it if you like. I, I can't stop the anger. But it, it's simply makes too much sense. I feel like the Ogopogo is like, it's a, a very good unit, I think. Although every time I take it, I lose, and on top of losing, I do so much worse than I think I'm gonna do. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, we hold on that. I would love a Chupacabra to pop. We've seen it used against us. We know that it's, it's capable of it. What do you think the odds are? What, what if we had it backwards? What if instead of a chupacabra getting buffed by a camel, what if we have a camel buff a... What if we have a chupacabra that buffs a camel so that the camel goes sicko mode? It did not work. <laughs> they, they, wait, 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 we did like an A-B test though, because they had the units in the opposite order. It's not an apples to apples comparison, but still. Yes. I do kind of like the idea of giving you a bunch of mana as well though. I'm, I'm undermining the whole squad. We're running it like this now. Should I get rid of you and try running? Listen, I'm, I'm just experimenting. There's no doubt that in the short term, I've made our team a lot worse. But I feel like we might be setting up for a nice pivot later, possibly. Wow, that was like way better than I expected, to be honest with you, which is gonna make this the most heartbreaking loss of all, the most heartwarming draw of all time, never mind. <laughs> Hold. This is nice to consolidate some space. We know how crazy a turtle can be. And you know what we say to a turtle? We say, yes, this is a great opportunity. I, I saw the, the potential rock as well. The rock was in the building, but I feel like a, um, a chupacabra with Oh, it's silenced. <laughs> I was gonna say, a chupacabra with a melon seems really strong. Let's see what you did there. Beautiful. Be beautiful? When, when a unit that possesses mana gets a kill with that mana, that counts as a kill. Did you see that? You just expanded my horizons. Love it. Huge. 
I'm sorry to say that I don't feel like the manna is doing anything for us that we can't do ourselves. No disrespect intended. It's just not the right fit for this run. Nor is any of this. Although, maybe a, no, no, we don't really need another Frost Wolf. Now, the problem is we don't have like a unit that we are like super excited to see. Like, there's no unit that is like, this is the unit that's going to win us the game. My God, we got a great synergy. I'm just hoping that at some point we get like uh, maybe something to build around. Because like the Ogopogo, the, the Chupacabra and the Frost Wolf are doing some fun stuff. But at some point you're going to need like a 30-30 unit to do something. Please stop uh, disabling my units. It's very upsetting to me. At the end of the day, it's we're, we're going to hold strong here regardless, but... I need something to build around. And it's going to be none of these. <clears throat> I think the Red Dragon... I, I almost hesitate to say it because it sounds insane. I think it almost needs a buff. Making the last two units... Well, there might be some weeklies where, like, that's great anti-shark technology or something, but... For the time being, I, I just feel like I always buy it because I'm like, uh, I get free crispiness. And then I'm like, wait, it didn't even do anything. Or like it didn't have any meaningful impact. Okay, enjoy. You got one trigger out of it. Now it's time for me to go sicko mode. We're still going sicko mode. You are quite strong though. No! <laughs> Yes. I'm not I'm not building around you guys. It, it doesn't make sense. I need a build around, bro. I need a max win. I mean, uh, Husky, listen, maybe I'm my own worst enemy here. But like with Husky, I'm like just boring. And I, even like on a strategic level, I think it also might might take too long to really get the team popping. But like come on. We're, we're playing around with some new pets here, bro. Let's have some fun. Don't be afraid to, to dream a little bigger. At some point, the Ogopogo's gotta go. It's not doing enough. And at some point, preferably like six rounds ago, um, we would get a unit to build around. <laughs> uh, but that has not happened yet. So here we are. Maybe you could convert you into a level two that's a little bit better. I just, I, I'm skeptical of a team with no stats making it work long term. But, you know, it, it wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong about uh, a video game. That's for darn sure. Three Huskies getting very daring, creative interfacing with the new mechanics today. Things you love to see. I don't think that you're doing enough for us. But you getting a bunch of health from the Chupacabra might kind of go crazy. You kind of need a dream scenario for it, though. I'm probably just going to convert you when I get the chance again. But if we could buy levels for you anyway, then when you convert, you'll convert to a, a level three of the next tier. Okay, you are too strong. You will be killing me now. Hold. <laughs> Did it really give no HP to the... There no... Oh, it gives HP, it doesn't give attack. You don't need attack. Oh, you need attack on this guy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Level three tree. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I feel like we're hitting the point where we got none stats. They got a lot of mana. They've silenced us as well. Things you hate to see. But we're holding, we're getting another payout, and we're, my, my, my stuff, my great stuff, my coconut. To a, to a bunny of all things, to a little baby bunny. Now here's where we got to go to the next level, man. We need to convert our tree, mayhaps. We need some, I'm, I'm not just buying 12 mana, like it's, it's tempting, but 
We need something massively transformative and we didn't get it. <laughs> oh no. Maybe they'll mercifully keep us alive as an act of charity for one more round. That's not gonna happen. It was fun. It was fun, guys. I had a good time. Hope that you have as well. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Hope you continue to enjoy yourselves. No, I got one more in me. Normally I wouldn't, but I don't have time to record one more full video, so I might as well give you some bonus content, as it were. I'm gonna go two squatted here. A little two four mermel. Maybe with a silkworm next round. A wrinkled ball. <laughs> it's the little things in life, everybody. It's the little things in life. The wrinkled balls. Not a surprise on that one, but just, just chill out for a second. So I'm going to toss you down. The thing with Mermel is we need other units to level up, but I guess, you know, it is round two, so let's just hold our horses a little bit. I'll accept my draw and my right to get back to uh, the same amount of HP we started with. And now it's time for this to really pop off. Like with a hair that probably will copy nothing. No, 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 you need the pug, you fool. Because then it'll make you level up, which will make your mermel even stronger. Or I could just level you up to begin with. You, I'm just gonna be honest with you, brother. We need the chupacabra. <laughs> it can't work, NL. It can work! I'm gonna make it work! I'd like to see you take a crack at it. Okay, this team, early on this team is popping. I have a new idea, by the way. I'm gonna take a silencer for sure. Me when I'm James Bond. My new idea, what is it? It's very simple, I'm, I'm, I thought you'd never ask. My new idea is, um, Give as many tempura shrimp to the chupacabra as possible. Because it doesn't really matter. Oh, we hold. It doesn't really matter if it has one HP it, versus having two at least. As long as it can get at least one KO, we would be thrilled. Go ahead, you become level two. You buff the mermel. I guess I'll give you a little Easter egg. I got nothing better to do. Might as well. But if you see some tempura shrimp, that's going to the chupacabra, bro. Huge. Huge tech. Go ahead. Go ahead. See if I care, bro. Move my, my whack unit to the front to burn your coconut, and then my mermel is feasting. It's feasting. I simply don't think we need you to level up. Let's buy this. Let's let's be smart about this. I do like the idea of you leveling up. And you know what? In that, in that case, take another another little egg with a 2-1 bunny that pops out. Did I ignore some tempura shrimp that time? It wouldn't surprise me. It's a scary team. But you know what? Maybe it's not that scary after all. Everything kind of worked up the uh, worked out synergistically there. Realistically, we're gonna need stats. You're always gonna need stats. No tempura shrimp. This is nice. How about some tempura shrimp? I don't even feel like, like asking for the tempura shrimp is not even that big of a deal. Like it's not a huge ask. It's kind of nice though. I definitely feel like dazing multiple units could be good endgame tech in the same way that like a, a bat can be good endgame tech. Not just for the weakness, but for overriding equipment. And making a, a pet like do nothing is, I mean, it's outrageously powerful. Dude, maybe the Mermel is kind of goaded with, like Mermel Pug is, it's been old reliable for us. I, I can't bring myself to do it. I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to just run a husky this week. I'll, I'll run a sea lion, but I'm not running a husky. And I'm not drinking any freaking Merlot, okay? It's just not going to happen. So 
what are we going to do? We need to find, again, you need a, you need, ideally something that scales itself would be fun. Dude, disabling a turtle? Call me Shredder the way I'd be feeling excited to see turtles not doing that much. <laughs> the synergy and the status effects are reigning supreme. Sir Barris? Dragon Ball supervillains in an alternate universe where they live in England and get knighted. Introducing Sir Beerus. Never seen Dragon Ball Super, just being honest with you. How about we try it? It's not a good joke, really. It was just a pun. It just happened to have some... Making the connection was hard, but there was no art in it. Hold. You like the way I put Mandrake at the back because its effect goes at start of battle and then I put Cerberus 1 up so that if Bro got crispy then we didn't have anything to worry about? Bro really said relax, I'll handle it. I think we're chilling still. I, it, it's a stretch to me to believe that I could take this to 10 with this exact squad. But I mean, we got five life left to, to engage in a pivot. It, do, it don't have to be the fastest pivot you've ever seen, obviously. And I'll tell you for free, mana on a, on a chupacabra means there's an extra chance for a, a, a faint trigger to, or a knockout trigger to pop. That didn't work in the slightest. This is a bad one. <laughs> this team is good. They got some good stuff kicking up on this one. All right, fair, fair, caught. You caught me. That's a good team, okay? And what are we doing? Now you've only got three mana. I like the Mandrake. Maybe it's time for the Chupacabra to go to the next level. I mean, it's not, his stats are not that impressive. Oh, good. We're going to have a level three bear. Exactly the sort of thing I've been looking for. Overriding all of my equipment. <laughs> It's all right, don't sweat it. We're gonna spend three gold to elevate it to the next tier and it'll become a mythical unit I've never heard of that does something incredible. This seems horrible for business considering the rhino and the snake. Yep, that's bad. Rhino, snake, husky. Always nice to see someone interfacing with the new mechanics of the pack. Would have thought that after 10 years of running a team like that, you might want some variety, but what do I know? Hey, NL, you got a bear on your squad? That's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison chatter. That happened against... It was under duress that that took place, okay? So I'm... I'm buffing... I'm buffing my dang Cerberus, bro. So it might as well be like that. Can you please give me the confetti so I can turn the bear into something that's not useless, ideally? Oh, no, 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 no. It's all falling apart, man. <laughs> it's all falling apart. Little bro's got 12 mana on him. Little bro's got 14 mana on him. <laughs> I made this kitsune so much stronger. Me when I'm Udon. Okay. Hmm. Lots of horrible stuff going on here. Okay, here's here's the tech. Don't talk to me about that. We're gonna run this. We can create a super Cerberus. Mana decays at three per turn. So it's, it's pretty fast, but getting two mana like that in the shop is uh, it's quite nice, I feel. Okay, I've accidentally buffed our Mandrake, and they have no faint triggers. That's, that's due to the eggplant. Like, I can't even be too upset about that. They're just, they're, they're whipping me around here, bro, left and right. And to be honest, a third dog would not have helped us. Starting to realize I'm, I'm getting vastly outclassed by squads that uh, are not consisting of tier one and tier two units. Could I just get a confetti, man? At least disabuse me of the notion that we're one confetti away from, from winning this, okay? 
I really need that confetti. <laughs> I, I, there's nothing else to buy, man. There's, I, I can't just roll myself into oblivion. I'll be eviscerated by the peanut gallery. Okay, I want this person IP banned from the game. New rule. If you're not using a single animal from the new packs, you failed the vibe check. I didn't say you're a bad person. I just said you failed the vibe check. What are we doing here, okay? You're like the dude who's like, Iron Man is so good. Brother, we've moved on. It's time for Iron Man 2. It must be superior. It's got Mickey Rourke in it. Dude was nominated for an Oscar. Okay, anyway, you got me. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'll see you next time. Later.